What's going on guys? Bengal here on the Bengal Plays channel. Hopefully excited for another season of MLB The Show. Hoping the game uh, exceeds expectations this year. There is a ton of content in the game and there are a ton of packs. I've done some grinding already off camera as we enter my first video of MLB The Show 23. So I have two 95 overall World Baseball Classic choice packs and seven 90 overall choice packs. These were acquired from the moments that you can find in the program. But a ton of packs and as you can see, I have over 300,000 stubs too and some of those will certainly be spent on opening packs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the just regular base packs. And I'm not going to be going one by one because let's be honest, Nick Gordon is not going to be a difference maker on my team. It's going to be about getting those diamonds. And uh, unfortunately, even gold cards are not nearly as valuable as they used to be, you know, even just a few games ago. Getting a really good gold card would be a really nice jump start for your team. Uh, and even, you know, they would go 14, 15k, depending on who it was, sometimes even more. Nowadays, I, they're dirt cheap, and a lot of these cards will be, but they're also going to be helpful. Like, getting these commons is not a bad thing, because if you're going to complete the collections, get the 99 Derek Jeter, uh, and all those cards for completing the collections, the live series collection, you're going to need some of these guys. And a lot of people are not going to put, you know, Hogan Harris up on uh, the marketplace there. So some of these guys end up getting pretty rare. So I really don't mind getting the common cards, but obviously you are going for the diamonds. That's why you rip the packs. And the first 10, not necessarily great. I did load up the tech test though, and we get Lance McCullers as a result. And I did get the captain edition of MLB The Show. I thought I think it looks really good. Uh, I'm a huge Yankees fan, massive Derek Jeter fan. And uh, I mean, they got me. I they got me to get this special edition as a result. It looks like, you know, some Gotham City vibes. And you got the bat signal, which is a fun little play on words there or concept with Derek Jeter and his bat. And we do actually get a free 86 overall uh, Derek Jeter as well, which we'll go ahead and open. And it's nothing to write home about. Great contact, but power has really always been king in MLB The Show. But really not too bad of a card here. Not too bad of a card. It's just power is terrible. Uh, which is going to make him fairly unusable. So maybe it is a bad card. Power is just Ben King. Maybe it's not this year, but historically it has been. And uh, we can only pick one. Why would I pick a bat when I can pick a player? Let's go with Devin Williams and his uh, crazy screwball. I know Pitching Ninja is a funny name for it on Twitter. I can't remember what it is now. We'll take the 84 Andres Munoz. I think he probably has Outlier as well. Outlier 2, so that four-seamer. Going to be up into the triple digits pretty comfortably. See, they still have the ball player stuff going on. And um, can't imagine any of that's going to matter too much. Although, we could get lucky with some of these. We'll take the bat tape here. Seems to be more expensive of the bunch. Uh, these silver items are not going to be too expensive at all. Game face paint, why not? And then I think the World Baseball Classic Packs are going to be where things start to get interesting. Yes, they are guaranteed. But at the same time, you're getting players that are going to go into your team instantly if you want to go uh, go that direction. We'll take the USA. I don't know if I like how they've sorted this. I definitely don't. Why is USA all the way over here? Uh, and then maybe we'll go Cuba and Venezuela. Shout out the freight train, David Peralta. Also, I should mention, live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash bangle if you guys are seeing this. I should be streaming this game fairly regularly depending on how much I like it so if you like streams check it out twitch.tv slash bengal I appreciate you being on this channel uh, regardless and I think I think we'll take the 90 overall Ronald Acuna plenty of great options in there I know many different YouTubers and streamers have covered them so I'm just kind of taking who I want but then there's quite an interesting wrinkle this year which are the captains these different captain cards will have different boosts on them depending on how you decide to build your team. So team building is going to be emphasized this year. Where you're, it's not just putting the best player every time, but hey, throw in five non-closer relief pitchers and everybody gets plus 10k per nine, which is pretty significant, I would say. It's going to be an interesting year. And uh, I don't think I'm going to take Derek Jeter, although I could... I mean, how long is it going to take me to get the 99? Maybe a significant amount of time. And he, I don't know if he really is going to be the guy with that power. Nolan Ryan, I'm a big fan of. 
Could we have just a team of older pitchers? He's definitely not the best option. I'm going to go Mike Piazza. Catcher with some pop. Why not? Uniform packs will get through real quickly. I keep pressing uh, X on Xbox by accident. Just more USA. Am I just going to take the same thing every time? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, maybe we'll save the uh, unlockables for another time. just want to see what's in these. Um, yeah, we're going to save it for another time. I know you guys want to see the players. And that's me included. Season 1 XP path. Gold choices. Um, Ernie Banks doesn't look too bad. I'm probably just going to take the highest rated most often. And then we do actually have diamond picks as well. So we got Pudge. We have... What, what an awful addition this was. was a sideways guard. Walker Bueller. Um, Nick Castellanos and Lefty Grove. We will go with Pudge. Get the 89 in there. And then, these packs could be a lot of fun. Starting out with the 90 overalls. I keep doing that to reveal all, but they're already revealed by default. Ooh, Yankee legend Jonathan Loizaga. I think he's going to be nasty. Sinker slurve, circle change, four seam, no outlier. Oh, he does actually have outlier in the sinker, which historically actually has not been great. I'm going to go with uh, Loizaga, and we'll also take... Who's got a ton of power? I guess Nelson Cruz looks pretty good. Although Luis Garcia could be good for our pitching, especially if he doesn't do the rock the baby uh, wind up anymore with the pitch clock. Uh, we'll go with the DH, Nelson Cruz. And then I, I assume we're going to have that pack several times here, so it might not even matter. I think we just take the players that we don't have. So we'll go with Glenn Dinning, Lars Newtbar. And I think probably repeat that same process here about five times. Now, do we get everybody? I think we probably get everybody. So I just got to make sure... Whoever I'm selecting, it says new. <laughs> Would hate to take a dupe here because I'm stupid and looking at chat or, or whatever. And uh, just being a general idiot. So I'd prefer to avoid that. But a lot of these cards look like they're pretty good. I just, I don't really know how usable they're going to be. Because MLB The Show is taking a very different approach this year. And everybody's really usable. And they're giving you really, really, really good cards right out the gate. And, you know, how usable uh, is a 90 going to be? They're not captains or anything, but maybe they could uh, all go together for a boost. I'm not quite sure yet. But those are all the 90s as we get into the 95s. And here, it's a decent set. We get two picks each round. Harry Ford looks pretty fantastic. And if you guys have seen the channel before, you know I love Lou Bob. So we'll go Luis Robert, even though... The whites want to pronounce that Robert. It's not how they say it in Cuba. And I guess I'm not Cuban. Uh, Camilo Duvall is probably disgusting. And uh, I'm going to take Arenado over Goldschmidt for now. But those special packs are over, which means we can get into the actual packs here. And I think we're going to rip the Diamond Duos. What do we have here? It contains one silver, a better player item, two other players, and one assorted item. Increased chance to find the featured Diamond Duos players and uniform items. So, Cattell Marte, you Darvish. We can do five of these. So, why not? Let's rip all five. And see if we can pull Cattell Marte. I would bet that he's going to be pretty good. So, we'll see. Unfortunately, no Diamond in the first pack. But if we get a Diamond, I think it's going to be pretty likely to be Cattell Marte. Or you Darvish. No such luck yet, though. I don't even think we've pulled a gold card that wasn't guaranteed to us. But finally, it's blue. We got a diamond. Is it Cattell Marte? Is it you Darvish? Either way, it's my first diamond of the year. First time seeing this animation. It's purple. Does that mean anything? It means it's Dylan Cease, it looked like. It is Dylan Cease. He's someone to monitor for getting upgrades over the year. Might increase the price of his card. If you guys didn't know, MLB The Show does updates where this 85 Live Series card could end up going up or down depending on real-life performance. He's got great hit per nine. Kind of surprised the K per nine's not higher with how nasty he was last year. Walks per nine, it seems to be in the right spot. 
Slider primary, four seam knuckle curve change up. Mm, maybe. MLB The Show meta is really more geared toward sinkers and cutters. But that's not awful. And uh, we'll get a chase pack for getting the big time bundle. And in the chase pack, you get a higher chance of pulling the World Baseball Classic Shohei Otani, who is pretty incredible and has secondaries in the outfield. I think they've actually fixed it. So you're able to actually play him there this year. Although, don't quote me on that. You'd be surprised by the ineptitude at times. Ooh, little, little diamond jersey. That's our diamond. We're not going to pull one for the entire bundle now. Or they'll surprise me and we'll actually get incredibly lucky. I, you know, I think... Ooh, getting a chase pack's also very good. Because uh, those have a much higher weight. So it's a one and two to get a diamond. So basically, we should get a diamond with those two packs based on averages. But it doesn't always quite work and, or work out that way, unfortunately. It's Luis Gonzalez at the end there. Andre Jackson. You know, it's funny. With Andre Jackson, I uh, included him on a Jeopardy I made for the YouTuber Giraffe Neck Mark. And, uh, <laughs> that was a funny video. He was totally blindsided. I made, like, the most ridiculous Jeopardy quiz for him. <laughs> just wrong answers and just not answerable questions for the most part. Uh, chat's telling me there are different colors like there were last year, uh, depending on how high overall the diamond card is. So we're looking for Cyan, apparently, for a 90+. plus, Which, you can get Aaron Judge, you can get Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, of course. You know, the best players in the game. Although, because of his suspension, Fernando Tatis Jr., not in Diamond Dynasty to this point. I don't know what's going to change. I'm assuming they're going to put him into the game prior to... Uh, or maybe when he's reinstated. But I would say, before that happens, if you plan on completing any of the Live Series collections... Get the Padres done. They will only get way more expensive when Tatis gets put into the game. So get the Padres done now. Get the reward now. And don't wait for Tatis. I'm telling you, the price of that is going to go up exponentially when he gets put into the game. Ooh, I think it was the Flying Dutchman there, Adley Rutschman. Not too bad. And I know I'm not stopping. I'm not going, you know, uh, through these very systematically. Kind of just ripping the band-aid off on getting Jorge Polanco as one of our top pulls up to this point. Phil Maton. So we're just, you know, trying to get through the quantity here to find the quality. The hit rates are not great. As you can see here with the pack odds, it's a 1 in 50 to get a diamond. We got 50 packs in total. And 1 in 10 to get an 80 plus. And the 80 plus is, what are the odds you're even making more than 2,000 stubs per gold? Like, it's very rare, so... Maybe at this early stage in the game, it's actually worth it to pull packs because you can fill out the binder. You know, a lot of these guys have more value because there's not necessarily, uh, you know, as many, like, shirt and apostles in the game. He's not on a team, so it's not a great example. Uh, but overall, I would say just buy the player you want when you get stubs. It usually is not worth it to open packs unless you're completing the live series collection. You can save your time on buying a Jake Bird or a Luis Medina. Yankees legend, by the way. <sighs> Ramon Laureano. Razor Ramon. Dylan Bundy in there. Show me a diamond. Show me a diamond. It'd be nice to see one in 50 packs. Again, no such luck. I think we've only seen one gold. I'll take another chase pack, though. So I have a good feeling that we're going to end up seeing a diamond in there. So I don't mind that. Let's rip out the first one. It's a gold. James Karinchak. Unlucky. Show me a diamond, please. Yes. I really thought we were going to go 0 for 3 for a second. All right. Show me Cyan. Don't be purple. It's purple. Okay, that's not good. I would take Julio Rodriguez, though. I know there's some really good 85s in that range. And it's Freddie Freeman. What is his overall? 86 for Freddie Freeman. Feels low. He led the league in like four major categories last... Or maybe not major, but he had... I think it was plate appearances, hits, 
doubles maybe. I don't know if he led in doubles. He had a great season though. 86 feels low. And it's another gold. Starling Marte. What do you say we do one more? What is this though? Is this... Why is this 40k? Seems like you have pretty good chances to pull something good here. All right, you know what? F it. Opening day for me here. Give me a diamond. All right, well. We got diamond uniforms. Give me the Padres. Oh, I feel like that's good. We got the 99. Cattell Marte. Not bad. Not bad. Everyone's spamming Jumbo Pack. So I got to figure out what that is. Hey, not bad. This Cattell Marte looks incredible. Can play second base, short, all outfield spots. Switch hitter. Awesome contact. Serge Jabari Rice drills from deep. Actually, it was just a deep two. Watching Texas basketball too. I'm going to take Cattell Marte. I'm in. Chat spam and W's. I feel good about it. Now, everyone's saying jumbos. These are the moves? One in five to get an 85. Okay, those are the moves. You guys are right. You guys are right about those. Let's rip the jumbos. And let's hope the luck continues. Show me some diamonds. We got one. We got one. It's scrolling to it. Okay, diamond in the last one. Show me cyan. No purple. It's purple again. Show me J-Rod. <laughs> That's pretty much how this is going to go. When I get purple, I want Julio Rodriguez. Por favor. Ooh, it's Manny Machado. I don't think that's very bad. He was another guy who had a sixth season last year. One of the best defenders in the game as well. I'm in. I'm in. I'll take Manny Machado. It's about 30k sell now. I like the card. He's not great defensively in game, but I like the card. Unfortunately, again, no Tatis. Ooh, and no diamond in this pack. When you do reveal all, it takes you right to the diamond if you got one. Felix Bautista. Oh, these jumbos are probably the move for just even completing collections. You just get an influx of players. Unfortunately, no diamond in this one either. But I'm happy with the Manny Machado. Chris Sale. Not too bad. What else are people saying to do? I felt like... I feel like a, oh, may, oh, around the world, people said. That's right. One diamond player from one of the two tiers. Rare is 99. Base is 97. What are these going for? 30K? So, oh, let me let me, let me me see what like Mike Trout's going for, for example. 150. So, if we pulled all three, all we would need to, all we would need to do to break even is pull one of the 99s. And your odds of doing so are one in five. So you have to get a little bit lucky. I mean, we're going to go for it. This is a pack opening video. We're going to rip some packs. Let's start out hot. Give me the 99s. Yes, baby! Mike Trout, Miggy, and Roki Sasaki. Who throws like 120. Uh, I'm going to take Mike Trout. Let's not overthink it. Cattell and Mike Trout. And you know what? I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. I pulled 99 Mike Trout. That might be in the title. Let's rip a 75 Bundy for you guys. Let's try to go out on a high note. And you know what? Maybe this is incentive to come to the stream. Because the stream's rocking right now. So here's, here's what I'll say. If you guys want to see me pull the other two packs, you got to check out the stream. Twitch.tv slash Bengal. I'm sure the link is down in the description as we got Wander Franco at the end there. But the packs have been good. We've gotten very lucky. And I started with 300k. And I think just from pure profit, if I'm thinking about some of the highest overall cards we've had, Cattell's 70 plus, Trout's 120-ish. So we'll round up, we'll round up there and we'll say we're at 200k already, plus Machado, plus getting all these cards, my guy Tommy Canely, 
Plus getting all these cards to fill out our team. I feel like we're big time up right now. I think Trout was huge. <laughs> I think. It's only plus 70k profit on that pack. Because there's 50k, right? He's 120 or 130. Ooh, chase pack. I'm in. I like pulling the chase packs. I prefer a diamond, obviously. But the chase packs aren't bad because your odds of getting a diamond are good. It's like, would you rather have what's in the box or a boat, you know? Classic family guy bit. <laughs> but the, a boat could be in the box. That's what a chase pack is. But you could also get 99 Otani in those. So, which based on my luck to start here, I'd say it's been it's been pretty fair. I, I can see Otani sneaking out. I can see that. Yeah, you can get the chase packs in the regular packs, and then the chase packs, you have a 50% chance to get a diamond, which is pretty good. That's like the best odds you're going to find in the game, I would say. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are guaranteed ones, of course, but you guys know what I mean. Travis Darno. I would love... How about give me Aaron Judge? Let's just let's just strike a deal. How about that? Unfortunately, not. Now, even though I did get lucky in the actual like uh, special packs, this is going to be a hundred straight regular packs with no diamonds. By the way, so I think that's a little bit unlucky to pull two bundles with no diamonds. If that ends up being the case, and right now it very much looks like that, so we'll see. Texas is up 20 against Xavier. I'm, I'm in. Cash in the ticket. Straight to the Elite Eight. Gotta love it. But you know what I'd love? How about a diamond? Please. Yankee Stadium. Nice. We're not gonna get one. Give me another chase pack. Make it up to me. Oh, I got sunglasses. Close enough. No, nah, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. No, no. <laughs> All right. Give me Shohei. Make up for it. Give me Shohei. We got a diamond. Show me Cyan. It's purple. Show me Julio. I'll take J-Ram too. Who's walking out? It's a Cardinal. Ryan Helsley. All right, good reliever. He might have outlier. He probably should. He does. Uh, all right. All right. Show me back-to-back -back diamonds. Damn. All right. Will Smith is not bad, though. But I think that's going to do it for the pack, guys. I'm down to uh, just 3,000 stubs. We will get more. But what an electric start to MLB The Show 23 and the Bengal Plays YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you check out the stream. And uh, I'll make sure that I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.